down. Cool. What's up guys? Here again with another video for my daily. I am going to install this Skunk 2 short shifter with the accompanying energy suspension polyurethane bushings to keep that shift nice and tight. So basically, after I installed the engine mounts, everything tightened up. Um, there's less slop in the engine, which means that there's less slop in the shift linkage moving around. So everything's been really good. I just want a shorter throw, just so when I'm rowing through the gears in traffic, it's just a little bit less effort. A little bit more fun and uh, should be an easy install. So, jack stands with jack. So, I will have to. think I'm gonna have to tinker around with the interior. This rod is connected to this joint right here um, through this that connects through it. So that makes sense for these two holes. And then once you take that off, it drops away. And then you'll want to take two bolts away from the bushing, which is right here. And these are two 12s. You take those out, I mean everything's been 12 so far. Then after that, there's two tens that are actually holding in your shifter. You take these out, and the old puppy should come out. So, um, I got the shifter out, but it was a bit of a pain because this plate, which holds the, the shifter up into the linkage, it it's put in with this stud with a nut on it, and then that's not the problem. The problem is, so this thing is held in with this little stud thing down here, which is supposed to locate itself on the shifter. But the problem is once you loosen it, it pops out of place and it's really hard to tighten. So luckily for me, a 13 mil will fit over the short side of it and kind of hold it down. So you can use a 13 mil wrench, but it's, it's a pretty big pain and I'm probably gonna try to look for something else that might help me tighten it later on when I reinstall it. But I don't plan on uninstalling the shifter so I might just leave it as is. Um, this is one of the bushings that we'll be changing out. Uh, the other one is closer to the transmission end and we'll do that one after we put the new shifter back in. As you can see we have the two shifters side by side now and you can tell that they have a different design slightly to them. I chose to go with the dual bend because a lot of people say that it puts you in a better shifter position and uh, I tend to agree with them. You can see the distance between here and here is uh, much longer on the short shifter, so that's how you get a shorter throw up here, by extending this part down here. I'll move to an Allen style, like this thing, and that's about all I have on this end. I'll just move this plate over. And we should be golden. It's good also to take the time to like grease up what you're about to install because you need some grease. The old grease in here is probably pretty tired. So you just take a good helping of this and just kind of swirl it around. And uh, I'll do this for good measure. That was so tough. It, so remember that, tell all your friends, uh, that one was super tight butthole. I'm guessing it goes this way since I am a left hand drive so I can put it closer to me. People in the comments will let me know. There we have it. Now we just have to do the reinstall. 
forgot. This bushing. So take this apart, push out the pins. One pin down. Oh shoot. Push out the other pin. Take note, it's basically symmetrical, doesn't really matter. Da, da, da. Throw these pins back in, and bam, basically set. So I'm side, so my legs are here, jack stands here, and then here is the shifter. So going all the way up, I'm upside down now, but See the header coming off of here? There's a 12 millimeter bolt. That you take off here, and that should release this weird washer, as well as what you need. Okay. Oops. So leave that on there, leave that on there. All you gotta do is kinda. Oh man. This is so hard to do one handed. Finger! Okay, so remember when you put back the bushing, no! Okay, well I don't need you anymore anyways. When, when you put back the bushing, there's gonna be a concave side and a flat side. Flat side goes towards the transmission and the concave side follows the contours of this bushing or this washer. So you just gotta mush that back in. Make sure you use a lot of synthetic grease and you should be fine. To add this later. I ended up stripping, we're well not stripping, but just uh, absolutely destroying this bolt. So, literally the last thing before I had my short shifter installed. So, I'll have to wait until tomorrow. So, this thing. This thing is gonna get dropped. I'll give you guys a review of the short shifter tomorrow. I mean, should feel pretty nice. Uh, I have no idea, so we'll see. See, see where this goes. Have a good night.